but there was a brief moment of panic of me wondering if we had bought a stolen car or not and managed to drive it from England to fucking Ukraine. <laughs> very difficult to get because the language barrier is extreme. <laughs> so we made it onto a boat, yeah, but things model. weren't exactly yeah. off to a yeah, flying start. Well. Um, well, we've yet to move. We're still in Georgia, uh, in Batumi. Uh, yeah, so we've waited, yeah, eight hours. Eight hours now. It's a really cool, like, old Lithuanian boat. So it's got lots of um, fun things that are wrong with it, like power, outlets not working but we actually have our own cabins which is amazing and we've all showered and ate and we're full and we're on the boat it wasn't all bad we had actual beds how's your nap uh necessary needed and not long enough but yeah no the, now the pilot's boat's just gone out and the tugboats are getting in position to pull us out and hopefully we should be on our way so ukraine we come Cheers. And then, as if to christen our voyage, we had some dolphins lead the way to the Black Sea. Yeah, that's awesome! Wow. And now that we were finally on our way, the boat opened their beautiful duty-free store. That's incredible! Oh, it's all just out of the fucking store! This is really cute. It's just everything that kills you and feels good. Does it have amaretto? What? What? We are going to die on this boat. <laughs> oh my days, this is the best whiskey. Ever. <laughs> so these are 13 euros. If you used to buy them in London, they're 120 pounds. So, um, they have really cheap alcohol. This is, this is a vodka. Um, it was five euros. Five euros for a litre. But they also have, my personal favourite, this gin. And it's 60%. <laughs> now, the bar didn't serve alcohol for some reason, so we just had to sit down with uh, all of our liters of gin and vodka and drink with a few truckers. Une hangover later. And now, how to spend time in the middle of the sea! Goes play. I understand. No! It's a game of deception. What are they waging? Oh, the only thing we have. Have really Five euros oh. for a litre. Uh, seven. Lower. Oh, good 50. Five. Thank you so oh. much. Oh. Thank you. Oh. Oh. That's the options as well. Higher. <laughs> Black Sea, I like to enjoy through lots of hair in my mouth the refreshing taste of home. As you can see, there's a lot of nothing around us right now. So it's cool to be able to head to top deck, give everyone a free beer, and just be like, let's chill. We are playing Sardines. So, for those of you that have never played it, it's like hide and seek, except one person hides. Everyone has to find them once you've found that person, you hide next to them. So, slowly but surely, it ends up being just one and then two. Через несколько минут вы услышите объявление, по которому вы можете подойти на ресепшн, получить свои паспорта в обмен на ключи. We've just docked in Ukraine, uh, in the port of Chonomosk. We need to swap our keys and tickets for passports down at the reception desk and then we need to be passed through immigration and have our cars probably searched by customs 
then we need to go find the insurance. The boat has been great. The highlights would be incredibly cheap vodka. Everyone's a tad hungover, but we are ready for the next leg of the adventure. We're just waiting for the never ending onslaught that is immigration and drinking coffee and waiting and trying to get online and more waiting <laughs> and yeah, a lot of wait. Day 27, we have just made it to Ukraine. We're about to get off the ferry. We had a couple days here relaxing, chilling, a little bit of drinking, some more than uh -huh. others. <laughs> um, we played hide and seek on the ferry, which was super fun. We had ourselves spoiled by having all of our meals cooked for us. And we got real beds, also nice. Real showers, also nice. <laughs> um, yeah, I think that's about it. We're about to go into Odessa and um, See what that's got to offer. So we just got through um, the immigration, well, the first immigration officer, and he asked me to take apart half a stairwell going into the car uh, because he was looking at the VIN number. But the VIN number, as I had never seen it before, uh, looked like somebody took a blowtorch to it. <laughs> so it looks super fucking sketchy. But there was a brief moment of panic of me wondering if we had bought a stolen car or not and managed to drive it from England to fucking Ukraine. <laughs> because he was looking for our VIN number, which is here, which I didn't realize because I've never actually looked at it before, but it's like welded over and it's half sketchy, so we had to take a piece of paper and some pencil and rub it um, so he could see it. But I didn't actually know if they matched or not, and I think it did, so hopefully we're in the clear and I can start putting my car back together. <laughs> and now we are at the mercy of the Ukraine customs stuck in the port. But our squad was used to it at this stage. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I've been holding off on this kind of tune up for two days, man. Two days. The port staff were kind enough to position everything at the opposite ends of the ports, which means we got some good hiking in, and it really kept us on our toes. But we're here now. Yeah. And it was good. We're just waiting to find some insurance somewhere. Ask that entrance to the next one. Oh, right, right, right. Ecological scans, apparently. Oh. It's, uh... How many steps have we had so far? Uh, three. So we had about one out there, and then oh, yeah. we had the one in the building. And now one, two, three, four, four, five, yeah. six, seven. <laughs> and after a lot of struggle, we were finally in Ukraine. Ukraine. We're officially in Ukraine. Uh, we are on the outskirts of Odessa. Yes. Insurance isn't the final, so we can't be completely relaxed yet. Well, to be honest, it was a shit morning, but it's been a much better afternoon. We got some foods and amazing room. Yeah, yeah, a guy came up to the van and was just like, my friend, my friend, what is this? And pointing to all the cars, this, what is all of this? You know, what are you doing? You know, and he, you know, started asking us a bunch of questions and nice guy. And uh, everybody's been, it's back, you know, back to the friendly, the friendly, happy mm -hmm. attitudes. <laughs> Luckily, the team found an old babushka offering to rent out her place, which made us all super happy. And then she even found a friend to come help us take care of the insurance. Um, it's only costing yeah. 300 livnia, which is about 10 euros. So, for one month. <laughs> <laughs> so, it's all good. With the insurance covered, we can finally kill some time in Odessa before we set off for Transnistria. We are walking down to a pier because there's a mansion on the beach that's playing really loud, really awesome music. And from what I understand, there is either a party or not a party going off at these, this beach. Private mansion party. Private oh, mansion party. <laughs> We're safe! While the tea room's engine was still fantastic, other parts were just failing at random, like the doors. And where are we off to, Joey? Uh, Moldova slash Transnistria. 
We are going to the Apennine town of Bender. So the colours of the Ukrainian flag actually represent the blue is the sky and the yellow is like the fields of wheat. And just then we saw the Ukrainian flag in real life, which is quite nice. So the Moldovan Ukrainian border was a pretty long one for us. So here's our top tips on passing the time. Conserve fuel as best you can. Play Tetris with your cars. Learn some new skills. Oh, your hips are wrong. Oh. Or is it, is it all opposite? You gotta go opposite. It's like you're pulling. It's the hips in. Oh, here we go, here we go. The master's coming. <laughs> oh, no, right. <laughs> Shit. Shit. Okay. Immediately fails. Sign each other's cards. Climb a tree? Do some dancing. And when you're all done, make sure to clean up after yourself. Uh, we have just got some border insurance for Moldova and it was very difficult to get because the language barrier is extreme, it costs 15 euros. We have now made it to Moldova. <laughs> um, the first time we tried to enter, the border that we crossed did not have a place to buy insurance so we had to go to a different border. It's all good, we made it in now. Um, so we crossed the border here. We had the cutest little search dog sniffing around in our car. It was totally okay because it was adorable as heck. Um, yeah, everybody's made it through now, I believe, and we're now in Moldova. Um, so basically, first 15 minutes of driving in Moldova, basically, and, and another wave. The nature's beautiful, and the roads are really good. And we were told so many stories about being underdeveloped, so we're expecting terrible roads. But crossing from Ukraine to here, the roads just back to almost English roads. And I'm excited to meet some Moldovans tonight. And moments after this was filmed, we accidentally drove into Transnistria. Thanks for watching, everybody. Please like and subscribe to the videos if you like them. We would really appreciate it. If you have any questions, just go ask away in the comments. You know how it works. We hope. You are all doing fantastic, and we will see you next time.